values-based leadership is not compromising who you are in order to represent others. Values-based anything is the value of what you put on yourself, on your life, on your, uh, on your community, on everything. I think it's listening to others and making sure that they know that you value their input and that you care about their concerns. It's leadership that comes from the core of ethical, moral, and, and frankly just you know, social justice, the ability to lead where you're looking at the values of the impact on people that you're leading. Being a leader is showing actions and being able to empathize with people, being able to help people navigate the situations that are happening. Leadership to me is a never-ending journey. Leadership is one where it's complex, it's exciting, it's a huge responsibility, and it's an opportunity to develop self and to develop others. Your number one job as a leader, your toughest job, is going to be to balance your work schedule and faith, family, and friends. Never forgetting that they'll be there in the end. You balance that, and then you focus on the values-based leadership, the essence of it, whether it's ethics, honesty, integrity, you name it. You're going to be known not only as a good leader, but you'll also be known as a good person. And that will be your most prized accomplishment when you reach the top. One of the fundamental things that General Shelton said to the board and to us as staff when we first started was leadership is not something that is just taught but practiced. So you may need to understand what concepts are, but unless you are doing it, you're not going to be able to understand that impact that you are or are not having with those that you're leading. And so the center, that's all we do. We think, we reflect, and we practice always. We live in a town of 1,200 people. There's a lot of kids that don't have the ability to learn how to lead, stuff like that, you know. And I saw what they had in mind, and we, and we had in mind when we got involved. And just to, to be able to take these young people and give them the opportunity for their abilities to come to the surface. We are promoting them to use good judgment, make good decisions, and be able to communicate with people. It was through the relationships that I built with the Shelton Leadership Center that I was able to get connected to my future graduate program. And that graduate program led to a career that not only utilizes my technical skills, but also my desire to serve others. So both of those were bolstered through the Shelton Leadership Center as well. So I'm just really thankful that I was able to become part of this Shelton family because it has impacted my life in a really profound way. The Shelton Leadership Center is one of many opportunities that exist on campus. NC State is here to help everyone who is coming regardless of their background, their financial status, what languages they speak, what barriers they have to overcome. But the Shelton Leadership Center, I believe, is one of the best resources out there. They taught me to be comfortable with myself and to be the most authentic person. When we look around the country right now, we know that we have issues in civic engagement civic leadership, people stepping up in communities and helping communities be better. And so my hope for the center is that it continues to focus on doing all of those things I've just described and continuing to elevate communities all across North Carolina. My future hopes are that downstream, every student leaving NC State has not only a degree that is world class from a university that is world class, but is also steeped in values-based leadership that we have somehow been able to touch every student that walks out the door, that we have students that when they go into the workforce are able to pass on to their workers, to the people that work for them, these values that we hold so near and dear. If we do that, it's a force multiplier that is just so big it's hard to describe. Downstream, we'll be touching millions of people.